Winter is coming. Hi guys, Ironheart here and we've got confirmation that the new winter map coming for Hell Let Loose in update 13 will be Kharkov. This city, which was part of the Soviet Union during World War II, was the scene of numerous ferocious battles between the Germans and Soviet forces. The developers have said this map will feature a hybrid of the armor-oriented gameplay of wide-open maps like Kursk and more urban, close-quarter combat gameplay of maps like Stalingrad. It will include elements such as railroads, bridges, as well as deep valleys, foliage and marshlands all set in a deep winter environment to make what the developers are calling a unique experience. The screenshots look great and I'm really looking forward to the addition of this new winter map. The icing on the cake is that we will also be getting some cool winter themed uniforms to complement the addition of Harkov. All factions in the game will receive new base winter uniforms and the free Winter Warfare DLC will be revamped to add more winter uniform customization options. I also really like the look of these new winter uniforms. I just hope the devs introduce a feature to lock winter themed uniforms to winter maps because nobody wants to see soldiers running along Omaha Beach in full winter gear. In my opinion that would just ruin the immersion and historical accuracy that this game is going for. As I previously mentioned, Update 13 will include a range of new content. We know now that the winter map will be Harkov, but we're also getting new weapons and vehicles, like flamethrowers, a new Soviet light tank, and jeeps. While it was announced that we'll have to wait until the first part of next year before we get the Brits added to the game, I still think Update 13 is shaping up to be a great final update of the year for this game. The East in Front content needed to be a bit more fleshed out, so it's good to see the devs focusing on that side of things. After all, a huge part of World War II, including some of the bloodiest battles, happened on the Eastern Front, so it deserves a bit more representation in World War II games. What are your thoughts about the latest news about Update 13? Let me know in the comments below, and as ever, if you want to stay up to date with more Hell of News news, why not subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. See you guys on the battlefield.